with our area bracing for the possibility of yet another winter storm, electric companies and tree service crews are working overtime to clean up from the last two nor'easters. Eyewitness News reporter Cleve Bryan is in South Jersey where thousands of people are still without power and many are wishing for the warmth of spring. Cleve. Yeah, Yuki, many people here in Medford, New Jersey, dreaming of spring because they have no heat and no power thanks to trees like this taking out power lines. I'm told it's the volume of trees falling across power lines that's really made it complicated restoring power. With a steady stream of calls for help, Cornerstone Tree Service in Medford is in tree triage mode right now. Trees on roofs, we're taking the trees off, sign a contract, come back next week to clean everything up. Last Friday's nor'easter was like the setup man, weakening the trees with 50 mile per hour winds and ground saturating rain. The next nor'easter on Wednesday was the closer, toppling trees with half a foot of wet snow. I've never seen anything like it. It's definitely worse than uh, Sandy. Officials say about 11,000 families in Burlington County started day two after the storm without power. Two huge pine trees on our property fell. 90-year-old Madeline Connolly has no power in the Medford home she shares with their daughter Pamela, her husband Tony, and their dog Petey Bear. They took advantage of a warming station at the Medford EMS building because they have no working well water and no heat. It's cold, but we keep um, we keep a fire going. And then today, my mother got like the shivers. Um, she has right now, so we came here to charge our phones and to relax and warm up a bit. They appreciate the hospitality, but they're eager to get back to normal. I don't like camping. <laughs> We actually just saw a person go by with a generator in the back of his truck, so it reminds me, two safety tips. Always keep generators outside so you don't get any of the exhaust in your home and stay away from downed wires. Assume that anything you see is live. Live in Medford, I'm Cleve Bryan, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Mm -hmm. Outside and away from the house. Cleve, thank you.